Okay, before we start making ohagi, you need an anko, which is sweet atsuki beans paste. So for those who doesn't know how to make it, check out my previous video. There's a recipe. It's not that difficult. Or if you don't have time or if you're just lazy, you can just buy a pre-made one. Okay, let's get started. This is mochi rice. It becomes extremely sticky when it's cooked. But you don't want to confuse this mochi rice with other varieties of Asian rice, which is also sticky when it's cooked. First things first, you need to wash the rice. Repeat this process 3-4 times until the water becomes almost clear. Once the rice is washed, add water and turn on the rice cooker. When it's done, gently mix the rice. Cover with lid for about 10 minutes and let the rice to be set. Okay, let's pound the rice a little bit. Crush the rice with something moistening with water. You only need to make it halfway mashed like this, not all the way. I'm using plastic wrap and spread some anko. Wet your hands with water and sprinkle some salt. Take a proper amount of rice and shape it into a bowl. Place the rice bowl in the middle of anko paste. So this is how you make regular ohagi. You can also make other kinds of ohagi. Other way around, spread the mochi rice and anko in the middle. Roasted soybean flour, which is called kinako. I don't really like Aokinako, but you can try. And don't forget to have some Japanese green tea or Chinese tea. But this one is African rubus tea. So today's customer was Nikki Soba. Thank you for ordering.